All right, hello, you guys. Ashley, you want to say hi? We have time right before bus stop for her to start their vlog today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's getting her socks on. Chelsea, are you almost ready? Yeah. All right. So we found out today that Grandma and Grandpa got snow at their house, huh? Yeah, we can't, um, like, I'm still not snow anymore. I know. We finally have the better weather, don't we? And, like, when they have cold weather. Socks we and shoes. Hurry, quick. We have whenever they have the good weather, we have the bad weather. And whenever we have the good weather, we have the bad weather. Yep. It's like a trade-off. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kaylee, you want to say hi? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> They, I'm just not, like, not even an inch, I don't think. Like just kind of covered the ground, I think. Yeah. Let's see your braids, Ashley. So cute. And today you said you wanted to cut your hair off. Do you want to cut your hair short? Yes. Why? You just got your bangs all grown out. I, I want my bangs. She still has a little bangs. Her bangs used to go up to like right there, her or her eyebrows. Yeah. And so she cut them to like right there, and then her mom decided to grow them out, so it's easy. I know. We just got Ashley's grown out, so I think I'm gonna leave her hair long for a little but while. But now they're they're growing back down, in. So yeah. It's so cute and funny. All right. Say goodbye. Bye. Oh, where is your face? Oh, he's in the shadows. I hope you guys have a good day at school. Okay. Uh -huh. It's half day. Maybe we'll go to the park after school. I get to go with Grandpa to wherever I want. And For your then, birthday, right? Yeah, and then we get to go pick out a toy. Yeah, that'll be fun, huh? Yeah. Hey, you guys, welcome back. I just got myself ready for the day, and the kids are at school. It's been like an hour or so since they went to school. I need to go film three intros for the Hawaii videos that I'm going to finish up on. You'll have already seen them um, up until now. But before I film those, I went and got this cute little caddy yesterday. Let me show you. Isn't that cute? Let's go on my desk. has two little slots here for my notebooks and my pens and all that kind of stuff. But when I went to put it on my desk yesterday, it was like this cloud of dust. It was like, anyway, kind of grossed me out. And since I... I'm filming my intros in here. I thought, you know what, let's just clean this room really quick. It's dusty. Need to organize that a little bit. So I'll take you guys along while I kind of clean up this room and then I'll film those, th those three intros. Oh, these stupid elastics, you guys. I find out in like a week or two how much longer. I don't know. It's never ending. They kind of said that I'm done in June. So maybe I only have a month left. I don't know if that's the beginning of June or the end of June. I want these braces off. I need to organize this little bin right here, pull out old paperwork and that kind of stuff. Then I've got Chelsea's little box that she painted, and I'm gonna take that up to their room and they can put all their little knickknacks in. Um, but then this counter needs to get washed off and all that kind of stuff. So, let's just get cleaning, because it looks nice, it's just dusty and a little bit cluttered. So, let's go clean. I've got my cleaning supplies out, but before I get started, I've got my books. This is one I just finished last night, the day the world came to town. It talks about all the flights on 9-11 that couldn't be grounded in Canada or other parts of the world because airspace in the United States was shut down. So everyone, there were like 30 or 40 flights that went to Gander, Newfoundland. And it talks about how like 6,000 people ended up there for a couple days. And it's such a good story. But then I've got my book that I'm listening to now. Let's see, what do I got? I've got a Nicholas Sparks. I've got a fluff book. I'm a couple books ahead for a book club, so I'm just gonna read a fluff book. Oh, I gotta download it. <laughs> Let's see, download. In case you've never done audiobooks, I'll show you how this is done. Download all, downloading. See how it's, do this when you're on Wi-Fi. I've made that mistake, I've done it. I haven't done it when I'm out in the car, and then I'm stuck without a book. So it's going to download, and then I'm going to listen and start cleaning.
we are all done. I got those nice and organized. There's actually one empty one, which is nice. Got all our personal paperwork all sorted out and organized. And keep all that stuff. Then this is the new little contraption I got the other day. These are like my highlighters and Sharpies. These are pens that I somewhat use, but these are my pens that I love to use for like my note taking and whatnot. These are all my notebooks. I have one notebook per like subject. This one's my church one, as well as this one. And then this is my YouTube one that I take notes and study and learn how to do YouTube. And then this is my daily to-do lists. And this is the beloved YouTube checklist that I do for all my videos. Anyway, then everything else is just dusted off and cleaned up. My new chair, it's super comfy. I love it. And then over here is all cleaned up. I did not go through this thing over here, but it's pretty basic. I just have papers to file, like old bills and whatnot, and registers for my kids' new accounts. Then I've got Ashley's markers in this bucket, all of her activities that are in this bucket, as well as down there. Then I sorted through her pens and her pencils and her crayons, and then I found more, um, I think we buy scissors <laughs> for every single girl every single year. So I seriously have probably 20 pairs of these little scissors. It's ridiculous. So I'm never buying another pair again. That's all set. And then down here I have some flowers that I think I'm going to go make a little display to go on my front porch or on my table. I haven't decided. And then over here is like the, it doesn't belong in here, but I don't want to deal with it pile as well as the garbage. So I will get to that because it's going to drive me crazy, but I'll do that in a second. And then in case you haven't seen my craft room, I, one of these days, I will go through every single one of these buckets and kind of sort things out and whatnot, but that won't be today. And then if you are new, then you'll know that's product from my husband's brother. He has his own business and we help package his products for him. And those are my lights. It's kind of a behind the scenes over there. This is kind of my Grand Central Station here in my office. Also, an update. <laughs> the shelves up here, I have picked and picked and picked over the decorations from these shelves up here. And so this one is actually doing pretty good. It actually has maintained like the books and whatnot up there. So that one's not as much of a worry. But I kind of picked off some of the stuff for this shelf to go onto that shelf. Oh, and I'm, I'm admitting now that I haven't taken down my birthday stuff from Chelsea's birthday. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, I was worried about that. It's pulling off some of the paint. Gotta find little hooks that I can hook this stuff on. Because I absolutely loved, let me show you. I loved how I could hang the birthday banner across there. And I had to put the balloons up there like that because you saw my debacle with the birthday balloons for Chelsea. They flew away before we could hang them up here in the house. So I'm going to take that down. But what I was saying before is that a lot of the little knickknacks that were on the shelf in the craft room got brought out to here. And so I haven't redone that shelf in my craft room yet. So it's looking a little sad. But I am ahead of the game. If you guys are new, if you guys are, you know, one of my regulars, you know it was a struggle to get these notebooks in, in place of my little five a day. And I love these notebooks. So I am well stocked up. These are all brand new. I've never used these. Look at my newest one I just got. Look how cute that one is. Like tropical leaves. Another day in paradise. That's where I want to be. I want to be in Hawaii again. So these are all brand new and I just, I love them. I love new notebooks. I'm like a, you know, cheesy schoolgirl. I love new notebooks. So I am looking forward to always having my favorite kind of notebook stocked up on hand. All right, I've already gone to a ponytail. I literally just did my hair this morning and I've already gone to a ponytail because I got hot. So hopefully I can kind of cool down a little bit before I film these little intros for these videos. But I just, I love cleaning out any room. I love to just, and especially in the springtime, I love to spring clean. So I'm gonna go take these flowers and kind of decorate my front porch now that the outside is clean and the inside is clean. 
kind of spruce it up a little bit. Let's go do that. All right, so that kind of worked. I might try and find some filler for down in here. Can't really get that flower to kind of go in place. It's not perfect. I don't want a jar out there. I didn't really want that look. And it's really messy from behind. I'll show you why that doesn't matter. Oh, and I think I just bumped it. Gotta fluff it. See, that looks kind of cute, right? Let me show you where I'm gonna put it. See, that's kind of cute, right? Just needed a little something. I don't want to put too much out here because I don't want it to get stolen. I don't think it will. But people actually have told me lately that they don't think it's my house because there's not a decoration on the front porch. So far I have shoes and a bike and if you haven't seen it, a new fairy garden. So that's kind of fun. So I guess you surprised us with his presents. Oh yeah. He made it home just in time for the bus. Oh, you're eating your sandwich? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, the kids' bus, I think, is it right here? There it is. Surprise the kids with daddy home. What does she yeah. have? She's got it. Whoa, stuff's oh, just falling out of here. Say thank you to Grandpa. Thank you. I don't think she heard me. She just went with Grandpa. Oh, what did you get? Goodness. What the heck? What did you get? I think they're all four dollars. It doesn't matter how much they are. But she got Tigger and Stitch. I, I'm just asking you. And then, is this what they go on? Well, here, you gotta show us. This stack oh. I took it off. So, she got the one that Ashley debated on this one and the other one, right? Come on. And then I got this cute little character from a movie. It's a, yeah, it's a, the new movie, Ugly Dolls. Right? Yep. And it's an ugly doll. But here's the thing about these, they squish. Yes, they, I don't know. Oh, they squish down? Yeah, so it's like a stress ball. Can I have one? I know. Okay, do you want to go open your thing? All right, what's it going to be, Chels? I already know which one it is. It's a llama. Fluffy llama. How do you know which one it is? Oh, is it not a surprise? Well, it says right here. Oh, you get to Our choose show, which the one? fuzzy llama. Oh, okay. By Noble. Wait, there's some tape here. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> they tricked you. It's like, eh, 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 why you won't get Okay, let's get that thing. tape off. Oh, there's two prizes that come up with Ta-da! Fluffy llama! Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if I can fit my head through this. Yeah, no, let's let see. try. Oh, where are you? Go do it again. Oh, I can't see so you now. Good. Does yeah. it smell good? It Here's this. So nice. There's another little prize. Let me see, Ash. <laughs> Just see up your nose. It smells so <laughs> Goober. Nice. It actually smells really nice. Yeah? I want to keep it. And you told Grandpa thank you? Are those the surprise ones? <laughs> Ashley, stop. It's mine. Oh, oh. it's a little llama ring. All right. Llama ring. I'm married to a llama. <laughs> You're weird. It's called a llama <laughs> ring for a reason. I guess so. Chelsea finished. Ashley was in here too. And they finished their little cubby. Look how cute. This is what I was thinking. All your little things have a place now. Got their zoom zooms. Is that what they're called? Yeah. There's real ones like these zoom zooms. Yeah. 
They just got all their little knickknacks, but then they also have like chapstick balls. Ashley's night guard is in here. Her necklaces are in here. Right, Ashley? Yep. But then you have room for your water bottle and your books right um, here. Um, Chelsea has her books right here. I was trying to hide the the little battery thing down here, Chelsea. And I kind of just chucked my things in. Cop chop. Okay, don't do that. Let's take those out of there. Anyway, it's kind of cute, huh? Yeah. Will you guys keep it nice? Hopefully. So if you get knickknacks, they go in there. When that's full, you have to decide if you're going to get rid of something in order to have room. You have chocolate all over your face. <laughs> Yeah, and I went and had did you get? Oh, you did. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing to go with Grandpa, isn't it? It's kind of fun. Yeah. And Ashley's already missing her birthday time, huh? No, no. <laughs> I got this. I know that's the one you got, huh? So just love what you have, right? And don't be jealous. And don't be jealous. But we both mm -hmm. got. And Chelsea that. got hers. Mm -hmm. She loves hers. All right, Dad and I are gonna go work in the garage. You guys finish cleaning up your room and, and making it look nice. Yeah, these are the exact same thing, but these glows. Oh, oh. cute. It's okay. Ch uh, Chelsea has a donut. All right. So I wasn't gonna do this today, but I've got him home, and I think it's a two-man job. So we're gonna tackle this shelf and move all the jars over, like I mentioned in video last week. So we're taking the jars that are on this side and, and moving them over here and getting those bins out so that we have all the food on this side here. Okay. And we're going to head to Costco tomorrow and we're doing a massive like food storage haul because I'm sick of not having stuff. So we'll explain that more tomorrow. That is food storage. <laughs> that is food storage, dude. Don't mock it. I Oh. For all you Coke lovers out there, I did hear the reason why McDonald's Coke is better. You heard it from me, and I've no, told I you a million times. No, I didn't hear it from you. Oh, the guy on the radio said they somehow chill or they do something. With I've their... told you that. I've never heard that before from you. I've told you that. They chill their carbonation, and they chill their syrup, and they run everything through. A... I have you told you that. Better. All you say is it's better. I have told but you I heard the from science an independent of it. Source. That it is really good. They do something special, so I guess. So all you ladies, all you ladies that I made fun of, I guess you were right. Scientifically proven. <laughs> and if that's the only way to this guy's brain, then I'll take it. He wouldn't take my word for it. He has to hear it from science on NPR. It wasn't NPR. Uh, whatever it was, he can't listen to me. He just has to listen to his broadcasts to hear it first. Uh. Okay. <laughs> So we kind of are diving in deeper than we thought. We have rearranged this shelf a ton. I have a lot of my decorative jars and dispensers and he has electrical stuff and we got a new bin with just uh, bulbs in it. And then we got like appliances like our griddle and kind of display pieces all the way down here. And then we are gonna go ahead and we found the empty container for the flower. So we thought we had five buckets of crystallized honey, but we actually have one bucket of honey and one bucket of honey, one bucket of sugar, and then, and then two empty buckets. Two empty buckets. 
So this is how we store our flour long term. And the seal on this bucket is really, really secure. So keep it for a long time. Then we store our one inside and we'll just come out and fill it up from here. I'll fill the one inside up with the rest of this. Okay. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff sorted out here, but I've got these weights down here. How many of you guys have workbenches that have stuff that you don't actually use? Uh, I gotta get them off the shelf and move them over to this little cubby hole. Put them over here. You know, cause that's what you do with weights. <laughs> it's gonna drive Dana crazy. All right, this is gonna be a long video, but I'm very proud of this man for getting rid, not getting rid, let's just say this, he just moved him. But all those weights freed up like half of a shelf, three-fourths of a shelf, and now he's going to talk or think about getting rid of them for good. Think about donating them to someone them. who actually does their weights. <laughs> you used to do I weights to all get, the time. I need something to protect the floor. Okay, so okay, there's excuses. Away. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> Did I get you? No. Oh, man. No, my friends are just around the time of school, so that's not really my experience. <sighs> we like jump on each other, so. Okay. All right, well. How was school? Uh, uh, you have homework? A little bit. You guys, look how good this looks. Look, it's all empty. Save the bin in case we have like miscellaneous things that need to go into the bin. Look how nice. We even got the top shelf cleaned off. So, we don't know how we're gonna organize it when we get our food, but we'll deal with that tomorrow. And then look on the other side, we've got our flour bins down there, flour and sugar down there, like we said. Then we've got applesauce, and then applesauce and peaches in that back corner. And then these are all the extra rings and lids. And then these are all the empties. This shelf here was kind of bowing from the weight, so we made sure we put the empty ones on top. And then we were able to put all of our luggage on that top side, leaving that one open. So I love how it turned out, exactly like I pictured it. Then we just moved that one in. So thank you for your help, babe. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad we could do it. Yeah. Now we're going to fill that back up with food from Costco tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm excited to get stocked back up on a staple because they last a long time once you get stocked up. Yeah, we used this to do this. feed four kids and get yeah. going. Yeah. He's putting away the last of his electric, what are they called? Extension, Extension cords. cords. Well, I was saying electric cords, but that's not the right word. I know what they're called. I'm tired. <laughs> so I want to end the video. I've been cleaning all day long. I haven't done any of my computer work. I've just been cleaning and puttering and doing different things. So I'm tired. We're going to end the video today. It was just a spring cleaning day. More than I anticipated, but I'm glad I got it done. Jason, do you want to say anything? Oh, we did awesome. I'm looking forward to getting it stocked up and have an organized garage. You busted it out. I didn't get to help clean the garage before, which... I, I know. I did a lot of work in here. Work. So stay tuned because we have a massive Costco haul coming very, very soon. So Plus we need our garage uh, ready for our summer kind of craft, craft huh? ideas. Oh, we need to new, make... Yeah, we need to make new benches for our farmhouse table that goes in the backyard. And I have other, I need to make a shelf for Chelsea's bedroom. She's take. they're taking ownership in their room and keeping it clean. So I'm gonna make a shelf that goes above their two beds, a really long one, so they can put nice things up there, like pictures of themselves and just nicer decorations and actually like decorate the room finally. So anyway, stay tuned, subscribe so you can come back for more. Ooh, who do we got here? We got the teenager and now we don't have the teenager. Say goodbye from a distance. Say goodnight. Goodnight. She's, she's not she's even right. willing to do that. <laughs> Say goodnight. Why goodnight? Oh, uh, where is she? It's not. Oh, she's morning. totally in a shadow. All right, you guys. Take care and see you later. Bye. Jason wants me to capture this muscle moment. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't drop it. You're on camera. No pressure. Finally got the car topper off from going on our trip. If you ever wonder how to store things in the garage, this little contraption is the best thing ever. Is it in? Yeah, I think it's there. Okay, show them how it cranks up. Oh, uh, I gotta get the ladder for that. Why? Because you got leverage. Oh.
Look at the expiration. It's four years. Mm, that's probably bad. Yeah. You're not.